Hi, I have another box from um, Mini Toy Adventures. I think he's Box Attacks um, up here, but yeah, it is a huge box. Look at it in comparison to my huge face, um, and you will see how large it is. I think I have an idea of what's in here. I'm not like a hundred percent sure, but um, Dom Dom has been very considerate. He's been uh, opening a bunch of I Dig Monsters because. He is uh, very, very obsessed. He and I both have sort of con um, obsessive, compulsive uh, personalities, and he's really into the I Dig Monsters right now, and also like into coding things, which is kind of cool, like code hacking things, not computer coding, which I wouldn't be surprised if Dom knew how to do. That's just a ridiculous thing. <gasps> and it says, Judifer, which is Judy and Lucifer, the best nickname in the entire world. I'm gonna keep this to myself because um, actually I like, I'm gonna open it on camera in case this is the moment everybody says goodbye to me. <laughs> These stickers are so cute. I just, I love how adorable everything Dom does is. But if this is the last moment that I'm alive on earth, I just wanted to say what a fun run guys. <laughs> okay, yes, so this is, this is a totally, um, totally secret letter because it says dirty things. I'm just kidding, guys. I, it's not at all like that. Um, and there's a bunch of fluff things. <gasps> Yay! It's got, <laughs> it's got the Pikachu Happy Meal boxes. I'm really, really excited about this because I was going to get some of these. I actually do have a child, but my child does not give a crap about Pokemon. And I was gonna get this and I have, like I legitimately have a child, but I have um, uh, some really judgy people in my life who are like, you know, like they're sold out everywhere. Kids can't get their hands on it. Like how dare you try to like take things uh, as an adult or whatever. And I was like, I mean, I guess I'll just let the kids have them, but the box is so cute. And so Dominic was <laughs> very kind in sending me um, this box and oh, there's two. Yay! And I love that McDonald's always has like the matching game on there. Loin fruit actually does play with it. Guys, I have a kid who does like play with these things and they are fun and adorable for her. So, you know, like don't be all judgy to me about this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this next part. This is a wand stand from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. It is Universal Studios. Um, it is to put your wand on. I've got three wands because, you know, real witches have multiple wands, backup wands or whatever. One wand that chose me, it's my signature wand. And then I've got, you know, other wands for other occasions when you might need a backup wand. Yeah, here are my I dig monsters. Okay, here is, I think she's like a swimming Jaxi. It's a Jaxi for sure. And then, I always forget that they come with these adorable little cones because I only play with the cones when I play with slime. Okay, so here's the little cone, adorable. I'm gonna put her right there. And then here's the other one. I liked this one um, because glasses are nerdy and amazing, but also because we're rolling right up on Easter and she's got like those pastel Easter colors and she looks like an Easter bunny. And I just think that's really adorable. I am not personally of, um, the Easter believing faith. And I'm also Chinese, so we did not like grow up celebrating Easter or anything like that. My mom is very anti like wasting food or decorating food unnecessarily or playing with food. So I was not. <gasps> this is the slime from I Dig Monsters. It's the fluff from I Dig Monsters. There's one. Oh my God, I'm so excited about this. <laughs> Dom, how many of these did you open? We're about to find out how many. Look how soft this is. I'm about to like play with loin fruit all day. It looks like I'm like a, a drug dealer. What would be white like this? Is it cocaine? Cocaine that would be white like that? I obviously don't know very much about drugs because I think heroin is black because they call it black tar heroin because I, I would assume it resembles tar. Um, so this has to be like cocaine because that's what um, Tony Montana, Tony Montano snorts. Um, Montana, Mantano, Tony snorts in um, Scarface. This 
is how many I dig monsters Dominic has. <laughs> like, look at that. Each of the I dig monsters comes with that white fluff and then it comes with one of these popping balls. You can pop the balls into it, it's scented, it colors the slime, it's super fun, it's really gross. Dom's not about that noise, he didn't play with a bunch of them. He did play with some of them, so this is not even all of it, but this is how many I dig monsters the homeboy has gone through. It's kind of, it's kind of amazing and baffling. Um, okay, so the next part, oh, and he sent me the glitter. Okay, the glitter I actually do love a lot. I play with resin and the glitter makes me really happy. Okay, so the other thing that he sent were, these are called uh, Zuru Toys Dino, Dino uh, Strike Hunt, um, I think. And they're, they're like the um, five surprise mini brands, only they have dinosaurs in them. And um, a, a lovely friend, I Heart Reviewing Stuff, um, sent him a dinosaur and it, it was a, I know nothing about dinosaurs. It was, I think a bron brontosaurus, the long necked uh, vegetarian one. And um, it had like a, like an angry face. And then it also had a bear trap on his foot. And I fell in love. I was like, I want that. That's like a hundred percent my vibes right now. So that's what I want you to send me. And so, and so we looked for them at my stores, but I didn't have any because it turns out these are like really sadistic toys. Like this is a, I don't know what this is called. It's the scary thing from Jurassic Park that uh, is in the rain and like fucking explodes with his neck and like scares the crap out of the fat dude and then he dies. Um, but this, this guy is a muzzle. Like we were talking about this in the live when Dom opened it. What kind of sadistic, rude person like um, pitched this at a uh, meeting for kids toys. This is gonna be such a long video. I'm so sorry, everybody. At the end of this video, it's just me like playing with these dinosaurs. So there's the muzzle that goes on his face. It's sad, it's pretty sad. It's really sad. It's sad, it's, <laughs> it's just like, leave them alone. Okay, so there's his legs. Also, even if these weren't like animal torture type toys, this is very, um, it's a disturbing way to open a toy to have like body parts piecemeal. That's why I kind of like the secret crush toys to begin with. It was like so morbid. Each body part is individually wrapped like a present and then you can open it and put them together. Um, the whole idea of piecemealing a living thing is so, uh, <laughs> so weird to me that I was like, oh, I have to, I mean, I have to have this. So here is these instructions, which I'm just gonna, like, I think in the video that Dom did, it did not look easy at all. So, and it still does not look easy. So here's the body, which I'll shove in here. It's the head. Okay, there we go. And then, I mean, I'm, you know, working off of his excellent experience because he actually did put this together. Oh, this is upside down. Okay. All right. So it has a lever. And um, and then these are legs. And what I love, what I absolutely, I still love them about these dinos is that, okay, where is it supposed to, it just snaps on. Is that they're fighting back. A lot of them are fighting back. Not all of them are fighting back. I didn't have him send me the depressing ones that aren't fighting back. Um, it like imagines a time where dinosaurs are being hunted by man and only around a table full of D-bag like toy designer dudes are these men going to be winners. Like they're like, yeah, here we are in the time of um, animals and or in, in the time of dinosaurs. And in this time, we're just going to catch them with bear traps and we'll succeed. You know, and then the other men around the table are like, yeah, that sounds like totally accurate. We would totally succeed. We could just straight up get one guy to die by rushing up on this dinosaur and putting a muzzle over his face. Like his claws aren't deadly or anything like that. Okay, so here he is. This is not easy. Um, like his claws are not deadly. And then once we've got him muzzled, we're set. Everyone is good oh okay so it does okay so now now i know i did this one wrong because it didn't it didn't feel like it popped into place so it's supposed to feel 
like it's popped into place and a hundred thousand percent a child I don't care what kind of child is not doing this themselves and so the point of giving them a surprise ball that takes them forever to open is really moot because once they open it they're still gonna need your help for okay yeah so it goes outwards maybe it goes outwards okay here oh my gosh his muzzle all right so yeah I just think that these toys like when he opened it live I was I'm only obsessed with the brontosaurus um but it's just so sad to watch so sad to watch the hubris of man as they uh design these hypothetical situations that we would obviously just fucking get our asses handed to us and then have man be like oh it's i feel like we could just um that muzzle thing would work and then other dudes like a hundred thousand percent um that muzzle thing is totally gonna work let's design this muzzle thing and then oh my god Seriously, these kids, who is getting this done? Okay. Um, and even, even if boys these days, and I hate like even gender stereotyping kids and separating them. So here's this guy. Oh my gosh, so exciting. And so if you push this, then his mouth opens. And so, if he did have the muzzle on, which I'm going to try to get on him in a manner that would work, maybe it goes down at the bottom. Okay, so yeah, sorry, it goes down at the bottom. So there he is, muzzled, and then, uh, oh my gosh. Oh no, the muzzle works. When Dom did this, it just shot off his face. That makes me sad. Maybe if it's like this. <laughs> yeah so this muzzle actually works really really well and is keeping him muzzled sadness um yeah so these and then they've all got like scratches on their bodies i just identify so much with these because like life has beat the crap out of all of us and um you know here we are ruining everything by trying to, oh, this is actually kind of a really cool stance that he's in though. Check that out. Yeah, I love these so much because of the memory of opening them and also because I was legitimately having a pretty crap time um, at the time that I got obsessed with this toy and anybody could have easily brushed me off and been like, those toys are like really depressing and stupid. Um, but Dominic was like, you got an obsession? I'm down, girl. Let's, let's, let's look up like where we can buy this. Um, I'll mule it for you. Like, and he was so sweet and so kind at a day when I literally was like, um, dealing with just crap lawyers. Okay. So this is a helicopter and I'm not even going to attempt to put that together. I'm going to just save that for another, uh, video where I, um, you know, throw the ball up and then through YouTube magic, it comes back like, um, fully made because I'm not gonna be able to make this one. Where's my brontosaurus? <laughs> yeah, I was having like a pretty bad day and I, I was obsessing over this dinosaur because it had like the angriest face and it had um, a bear trap on his foot and he couldn't like really, like it wasn't like a deadly bear trap. It was just really annoying. He could obviously get out of it. And that's like how I felt that day. That day I was having, this is a car. We're gonna do that same YouTube magic later. Um, that day I was having that sort of same issue. I was going through a problem that I 100,000% could totally deal with. It's really um, not life-threatening. There was no issue um, that I couldn't deal with, but it was really annoying and disheartening and just made me sad at the state of the world and the state of things. And, um, I started obsessing over the, this toy as one does when you're in the toy community and like toys, um, instead of dealing with your problems head on, you just, uh, look at people's stories and think, wow, that toy could solve all of my problems. And in this case, it really, it really did, mostly just because of like sweet, wonderful Dom's reaction. I, um, you know, he, he was like, that sounds wonderful. Like, let's get this toy for you. And also like, it started as a joke. It was like Misha 
who's iHeart reviewing stuff, she sent it over to Dom and I asked her where I could find this toy. And she sent me the information and I checked out my stores and I couldn't find any in my stores. This is my baby. I couldn't find any in my stores. So, um, me and Misha started plotting. I was like, oh, I'll casually, you know, drive over to, oh, these are, oh, okay. This is not my baby, but this is um, like a lot of the, here's the menu of the different ones. There's the baby, that, that my baby. And this is the Dilophosaurus that we just did. So um, Misha, sweet, sweet lady. And this is the, I thought this was a pterodactyl, but I guess it's a pterosaur, like a pterosaur. Um, yeah, we started plotting. I just sort of casually was like, hey, do you know where I can get this toy? Because I saw Dom open it. You sent it over to him and I just really, really love it. And she was like, oh, you know, I'm so sorry. Like, I don't, I don't know, like, but this is the one. And I looked it up um, and there weren't any in the stores around me. So we casually like were joking. And I was like, um, you know, like what would be really funny is if I just go over to um, Dom's place and like casually steal it and then I open it up on Instagram and I'll just be surprised and be like, yo Dom, we're twins. Like, isn't this the thing that um, I Heart Reviewing stuff sent over to you? And then, uh, you know, Dom would go look for it and he wouldn't find it because I viciously stole it from him. And uh, Misha was like, oh, I'll totally play along. I'll get up on Instagram and be like, um, how dare you lose like this super special toy that I bought you. It's like something that I really love. It's like a family heirloom or whatever. And um, and then I was like, I'll, I'll build up off of that. I'll be like, I'd, like this is the coolest toy I've ever seen and the fact that anybody would even think about losing this is such a like the asshole move and you know like whatever we <laughs> we put a lot of dumb thought into this and um right about the time uh I was about to set the plan in motion um I realized that I wouldn't be able to Misha realized it first Misha was like chances are it won't even be there because um, if we know Dominic, we know that this dinosaur is being sent to um, the love of his life who really likes dinosaurs. So you'll, you'll get all the way there and essentially it won't even be there. And I'm like, yeah, that sounds like, that sounds like what would happen to me. Like I'll drive all the way out there um, to casually uh, wreak havoc and nothing, nothing will be available to me. This is a really difficult item to put together. Um, so then, yeah, that's when I reached out to Dom and was like, Hey, BTW, is this even like in your possession currently? And it was in his possession. He had not yet sent it to his one true love. Um, but he was going to, so at least we verified that it definitely would have been a waste of my time. Oh my gosh. I still can't get over like whoever designed these, they are not easy to put together. I guess that's that. Um, so yeah, it was a pretty, it was a pretty shitty day, and it was made really wonderful. Dominic um, went to the store and procured an entire case, and he codes toys for fun. So he was thinking that he would be able to um, weigh them and sort of find uh, like a weight hack for them. But when he brought it home, he was like, they all weigh like pretty similar and I don't think I'm gonna be able to hack this at all. And then also, but like I got a full untouched case. It's impossible that this item isn't in here. We're gonna open it live. It's gonna be so great. And I was like, thank you so much. Like that sounds wonderful, you wonderful man. Oh, so it opens and closes, slutty. Um, and so we, <laughs> We were getting ready to do this live. He did an amazing live where everybody was watching. How the fuck does this go together? Is this the part that goes into his body? Or is this the part, this the part? This, okay, so this this goes together like this, okay. Um, so we're getting ready to do this live and as we're opening it, we realize um, like there's, a couple of dinosaurs, but there's also a crap ton of Jeeps and uh, and airplanes. And we didn't want any of those. Like we, 
we just wanted the dinosaurs. He went in for half the case um, so that he could get some dinos for his one true love. And uh, I was like, cool, like I only want the one dino, so what are the chances that we don't have extra dinos? It turns out the chances are really huge. Um, so he did, oh my gosh. He opened the first few and the first few were like cars and um, cars and, and helicopters and the situation was looking real dire. Like it did not look good at all that was so hard to put in i'm putting a lot of effort into this y'all like this is no joke um a very difficult to put together toy and it's not even flush after all that work <laughs> like um yeah he uh he started opening them and it was live and you know with each one that he's opening i'm getting more and more like borderline depressed i'm like this is this is not gonna turn out the way i want it to turn out and i'm i'm also very um like I'm just feeling a lot of love for somebody that's even willing to put them out like that amount of effort for me and then just a lot of embarrassment for making everybody go through this ridiculous song and dance because I wanted one random thing um and you know Dom is doing his best to keep things light he's like you know if if we don't find it I'll get a tattoo of this one like he's just he's being a really good sport about something that is not looking good. And just being the best human and the most amazing sweet person while I'm sitting there like about to die. Like just, just like, it's not here. It's not here. Nothing in life is ever gonna go right again. Um, I put all of my hopes and dreams into this toy that I thought I was gonna get that would fix all of my problems. And everybody on the chat on the live is like getting that feeling, right? They're like, oh shit like this is this is not gonna work out well at all look at his tongue i really like this one it's so it's so cool without the jaw too like a decapitated anyway like everyone's like oh crap this is really um this is not turning out well at all his mouth opens and closes and here are the shackles um and it's i think it's the second to the last one we opened which is such a relief because we were like, oh God, this is gonna be the most depressing. But it turned out to be such a great night just because everybody got together and like watched this live, A. And B, Dom like did everything he could to be the sweetest human being that anybody could possibly be. He read my mood super well. He knew um, like all the fun things to say to lighten the mood. Um, and then we, you know, we got the toy or whatever, but that's, it's the memory of just people coming together to make what would have been a shitty time, not shitty. And it's just so like special and cherishing and, and wonderful, especially for like me and Dom are getting rapidly, um, just very, very fond of each other and very close, like very soon, but we are, you know, relatively new friends and to have somebody go through that, look! just like uh, who could not fall in love with that I mean really look at it um yeah to have somebody you know like we've never met in person um it's just to somebody to do that for me is it's amazing and it, it it speaks to a world that I didn't think existed I'm very um a negative person a cynical person and I'm somebody who really does think that like um there's not a lot of good people out there. I think that like the bar for good people is too low. I think that there's a lot of like not bad people out there and there's a lot of bad people out there, but I don't think that there's a lot of good people out there. And this community and um, this man who got these amazing dinosaurs for me have really been helping me um, deal with that sort of bleak outlook. As a parent and you know, just as somebody who is uh, generally a pessimist to begin with. This is so amazing. He's so cool. And let me just show you this face. He's like, the oh my God, his face is just so angry and so pissed. And I just love this one so much. It epitomizes everything that I was in that moment, that I very often am. Um, like I Like this huge dinosaur who obviously 
can get out of this bind in like two seconds. Seriously, not a big deal. But so annoyed that they even have to is basically me all the time. Just like, I cannot believe I have to deal with being a human and yet here I am. Um, I cannot figure out how anybody does this. Dom did this in like two seconds on the video. Um, yeah, and he cursed. He obviously didn't save that, that video. Like nobody, nobody can go back and watch it because Dom's a, a, a very, um, uh, I, don't, I don't know if famous is the right word, popular um, YouTuber uh, with a lot of different uh, channels and um, has to watch what he says a lot more than I do. So the video is not saved, which is a bummer because that was a shining moment of happiness in my life. Um, but I've got the memories. And so, yeah, how do you know the difference between a front leg and a back leg? They all look like the same to me. Is the front leg shorter? The front leg is longer. The front leg is longer. Is the front leg longer? Yeah, the front leg is longer. Okay, so this this one's gotta be this one. Oh, come on, how is, it cannot, nobody is able to do this. Okay, nope. Um, yeah, so I love these dinosaurs for just the dinosaur, this dinosaur itself, not the series, which is sadistic and sad and teaches violence and animal abuse. Um, don't get this series and support this series. This is like a weird, a confusing series to, uh, to be released into the world of children. Um, but this has a special place in my heart forever now. Oh my gosh, these are not easy. They are difficult to do. I don't think you could take them apart once they've been put together either. Oh, okay, that one snapped in like in two seconds right after I bitched and moaned about it. Eee. Okay, we're almost there. <laughs> Getting so close. Okay. Wow, they really do fall in like specific poses. The length of their legs determine that. Okay. I'll, I will say they're pretty sturdy. I'm putting a lot of. I mean, you can't tell because it's not like I have bulging muscles or anything like that, but I am not being gentle and it is holding up to my abuse. So. They are sturdy toys. I will give them that. Okay. All right. Look at this baby. What an amazing, beautiful toy. Like, look at that expression and that amazing face. Okay. And so then if you push down on the tail and he like goes forward and here is the bear trap that goes up. And this is a huge bear trap, like in comparison to what it would need to be. I guess I could move his foot down a little bit more for this bear trap. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Look at it. He's like all of you. <laughs> okay. This is amazing. Dino strike. <gasps> oh, with the chains. And then this one, which I don't know how he did it, but it, it, you know, like for him, it shot out. Like these are so cool. And I just want to, um, I want to thank this toy community and everybody who watched these dinos are amazing and I wanted to thank specifically Dominic for just being an amazing human being and on that day like just a really good friend um, you're a good friend in general you've been amazing it's been wonderful getting to know you but on that day on a day when I was having a shitty time you helped me with an obscure toy you made a big deal out of it you 
which is perfect and wonderful and these toys are so amazing and I'm just lucky to know you and have you um, in my life and this toy will forever be a treasured um, part of my collection and thank you so much and thanks everyone um, in general for making the world a better place being islands of decency in an ocean of general shit um, Together we will build more decency and bigger islands and take over. Um, and yeah, so thanks everybody so much. And don't buy these toys, but really love this one because these are like just animal abuse and ridiculousness, but they're cool, right? I mean, difficult to put together. <laughs> so yeah, thanks everybody. And I hope everyone's having a wonderful day.